Aleluia. You may be seated. What an awesome word. Let's thank God for Pastor Cleo. Everything has a beginning and an end. God is Alpha and Omega. He is the first and the last. The thing that ministered to me with this word, he said that devotion is unwavering strength. And he said, don't bow down. And automatically, sometimes we think it may mean don't bow down to idols, don't bow down to false worship. But how, how about not bowing down to that familiar spirit that comes? How about not bowing down to oppression and depression? See, the enemy is banking on that he's going to be able to lay the same trap over and over again. It worked before. Why not again? This time is time to break the, the pattern. Break the cycle. You know, someone, I heard someone say this uh, recently where they said, oh, this person is such a strong, a strong, they said a strong woman. And I was telling my husband and telling some other people that, and really what that means is that it's not so much that the person is strong, but their human spirit is strong. Amen. And it really represents stubbornness and pride. Yes. Amen? Amen? So in the world we say that that person's a strong woman or a strong man, but mostly that's, it's mostly women. That's a strong woman. It's really not a compliment. That means that you're stubborn. You're not yielding. That you're not submitting. Amen? So the enemy is banking, and I'm not going to preach a message up here, but he's banking that we're going to do the same thing that we've always done. That he's going to be able to trip us up in the same way that he always has. Let's flip a script on him. He's banking on when hard situations come. That we're going to bow down under that oppression. But the Bible says let's put on the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen? Amen. Let's just start doing what the word of God says and breaking forth and breaking free. Amen? When I think about Pastor Cleo's life, I give God the glory because I saw there was already a seed in him. I was there to come to water the seed. Amen. Neither is any but God that giveth the increase. But I saw a season of a hard struggle for a long time, at least seven, eight years. But when God turned it, oh, how sweet it is. It, it, this message that he preached, it shows me that if you just keep walking with God, your devotion, no matter what comes your way, if it's, Sabby's a good example as well. If you just keep walking with God, God knows how to break you out. He knows how to turn it around. And we have, we have, we have a responsibility to pick our cross up, like he said, daily and follow God. So God is not doing everything. We're co-laboring with him as we come into his presence. He's given us instruction. He's speaking to our hearts. He's showing us what we need to do and what we don't need to do. Pull back here a little. Thank God for God. He gives us wisdom as we're in his presence. Just pull back here. You're speaking on too many things. Shut it down in this area. See, that's what God does. He counsels you in his presence if you would just listen. If you would just get in that place. Oh, how we love him. But everything has a beginning and it has an end. And as many of us have been in this church for a while, time is moving on. Yes, it is. When I came here, I was 35 years old. I'm 51. Amen. I'm like, Lord, time is moving on. Because when I married my husband, the ministry was, was in existence for about two and a half years. And I just see, I see God, I see him doing the work that he has begun. I can see God starting to complete it. And even though you may have fallen and you may have messed up, get back on. See, the enemy will lie to you when you leave the house of God. Look what you did. Look what happened. But though a righteous man falls seven times, he can rise again. There is yet another opportunity for you to get there. The door will never be closed until the last breath leaves your body. He's a liar. So Jesus said, I am the door. Come through the door. And those today who feel like you have fallen, you have stumbled, I want you to come up, reconnect with God. You may have known God at an early age as a child. 
You may not be living right. Things may be going on, but there needs to be a reconnection today. And God wants, it's a heart issue. We're never going to do anything always right because we're in this flesh. But we need to reconnect to God. There's an opportunity this morning to come to boldly be before the throne, to come to the cross, to lay it at the feet of Jesus because my heart says I want to make Papa Daddy proud. I want to shine for his glory. And I want to reach the fullness of my destiny. The fullness. All the giftings to come out and to flourish for the glory of God. And when you shine, God shines. And when you, when you shine, they will glorify God on your behalf. Like even like in the days of Daniel, your God is the God of all gods. Hallelujah. So lift your hands. We come before the throne this morning. We lay our issues at the feet of Jesus. And we choose this day no matter what hasn't come yet. What promise hasn't manifested yet? This has to be your heart. I'm still going to follow God. I'm going to walk with him with my whole heart. If I don't attain certain things, I'm still going on with God. Because what happens if you make those promises and those things, they become your God. They become your God. If it doesn't manifest, so you got to make the decision. The Lord said this to me, if your father, when my father was alive, if he never apologizes to you, you got to forgive him. You got to love him. So some may have hurt you. If they never say sorry, I forgive him. I laid at the feet of Jesus. See, this is not coming up for pomp and circumstance. This is a real heart connection this morning. God wants the heart devoted once again back to him. A heart connection. Confession is made unto salvation. If I say yes to God out of my mouth and you guys hear me, but I don't have a heart connection, you just heard words. But when I speak and I believe, when I speak and I believe and I surrender in my heart, there's a devotion, there's a, there's a heart connection. And that's what he wants this morning. To seek him with your whole heart. All your mind, all your soul, all that is within you. I will not be moved by the plot and the plan of the enemy. But steadfast, unmovable, always, 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 always abounding in the work of the Lord. If I have five million, I'm going to praise him. But if I have five cents, I'm going to praise him. If I have the job of my dreams, I'm going to praise him. But if I'm on welfare, I'm going to praise him. If the check didn't come on time, I'm going to praise him. If my loved ones are not yet saved, I'm going to praise him. If I'm not yet married, I'm going to praise him. You are not my God. You're not my God. For you single women and that's what I told God when I was single and I meant it. Listen to me. I stand here from a place of knowing, waiting on God for 12 years. And I'm not talking from head knowledge. I said, if you never send the man of God, because I got sick and tired of it ruling over me and leading me emotionally. If I never get married, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to preach the glorious gospel. You're not going to put a ring in my nose and say, now this is the day that I get you and put you on an emotional roller coaster and drag you because it has not yet manifested. I said, no more. It's over. I terminate your influence today. I serve God. And I will not be led emotionally in this area any longer. So if you're at the altar or you're sitting in your seat, I pray that God give you that type of resolve in that heart. But Father, we thank you today for a connection. A connection. 
connect it in Jesus name reconnect it in Jesus name reconnect it reconnect it in the name of Jesus reconnect it surrender son surrender reconnect it Abba Father's calling all of us to reconnect in that secret place. He wants that devotion. He wants to light it up at home. He wants to light it up at home where the glory of the Lord is thick. Where you're bowing down in that secret place in that prayer closet. Hallelujah. And when you lift your hands in your home, the glory of the Lord is poured out. Not just in the house of God. Not just in the house of God. Beatrice, say, say, I will not be moved by my emotions. I terminate being led by my emotions this day. I break the power of every word that the enemy has spoken to my heart. I disown it in Jesus' name. In the words of people that have put me down, I condemn those words. I'm more than a conqueror. Through Jesus Christ, I will not turn back. I disconnect from that which is unrighteous. I'm holy and I belong to you, Jesus. Fill me and touch me. In the name of Jesus, I will not go back. I will not go back, God. This is a this is an odd word. <laughs> this is an odd word, Deaconess Taisha. But that God would put His thunder on you. That when you praise Him and you stomp your feet, that the thunder of God would come out of you. That when you clap your hands, that when you stomp your feet, that things would break, strongholds would be broken, that the thunder of God would exude out of you for the glory of God. God's going to use you to break ground, hard ground. Hallelujah. The enemy was breaking that you would trip on it. Hallelujah. But your heel is on his head. Jesus. See, we can't see things in the spirit. But get this picture of her clapping. Get this picture of her stomping in a wave. Listen to me. Like an electric wave going out. And shattering. We've seen it in the movies. If a wave was to come in here, listen. And it would start from there and it would break up. That's what her praise is going to do. It's going to break up the enemy's camp. My good, like a thunder, like a wave, like a sonic, powerful wave, and breaking up stuff. My good, Woo! Jesus, restore, oh God. We declare you healed, Mother Edna, in the name of Jesus. Don't bow down in the name of Jesus. Elois, you are not powerless. The word of God is your weapon. God says, I need you to get in that word. You must understand today that the word of God is your weapon. That's going to be your strength and your nourishment. And that's going to empower you. Get in the word, stay in the word. Eat the word. God will give you understanding. By understanding are things established. And all you're getting, get understanding. That God would open up your understanding. He wants you to saturate yourself in the word of God. Where your mind is renewed. And tra be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. You've looked at the strength of others. God said you've been lacking the knowledge of the word of God. But once you get in that word and this mind is transformed. The word of God is going to lift you. The word of God is going to change you. The word of God will be an arrow coming out of thy mouth. Learn it. Meditate on it in the name of
of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands if you're thirsty for him this morning. He said in the book of Matthew, if you hunger and thirst for righteousness sake, he would fill you. And that's what he's doing this morning. He is filling his sons and daughters. If you, as you have said, yes, I am reconnecting out of a heart of devotion. Devotion. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet, everybody.